fortress in the clouds. Armenian barbecue, number one. This is the real McCoy. That is madness. Ah, well, government. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> A nightmare. So fabulous. Greetings, guys, from Ambert Fortress in Armenia, or translated as Fortress in the Clouds. And it's a fitting name, guys, because look at this. We're at a 2,300 meter elevation above sea level. On the winding roads of the Aragats Mountains, you'll find this century old fortress that dates back from the 10th century and right over there there's a church and as with everything in Armenia it's all very old so I'm excited about this let's go and visit this place and I'll tell you a little bit more about it let's go and to give you an idea of how high we are you ever flown on a plane with landing and the the, the bottles get crushed well same thing here we're high they look so cute is that okay yes. guys <laughs> Look at these! Aren't they cute? It's your birthday today? Yep. Happy birthday! Thank you! Many happy returns! And you decided to come to Aragats yep. for your birthday yes. to visit this fantastic fortress in the clouds. Where are you guys from? Russia! Oh, nice! We're in Russia. It's a nice place. I've been there many times. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm from England. Well, happy birthday, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. See you Thank later. You. Welcome, yes. English football. Better, what's better, Armenian football or English football? One Armenian football, two English football. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, England football, Armenian football, two. No? England football, number one. Yeah. Armenian barbecue, number one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet Russian you. Russian girls, very good. Number one. No, number one. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Your name? Levo. Levor? Levon. Levon. I'm Justin. You are? Norik. Norik. Nice to meet you. If you want to speak Russian, you can speak Russian. Of course. I'm actually playing for Manchester. I don't know if it's a visa. United or City? No, no. United. Well, it's good. Happy birthday. So guys, we've arrived at a perfect time. The weather is glorious. The lighting is spectacular. Well guys, set up here like you're in the clouds. The sun is setting. Hello. How are you? It's tiring, huh? Устал, да, трудно. Какой национальность? Я из Англии. Англия, да? Да, англичанин. А вы откуда? Армянин. О, супер. Как у вас дела? Нормально. У вас как? Нормально? Да, ну как может быть? Да. Это, это такая... Погода, смотри. Погода, Или красота, это... природа. Погода. Это, извините, это просто скажите привет, мои подписчики там э, в Англии. Как вас зовут? Привет, Зорик. Зорик, Зор. Джастин. Зор. О, Зоро, а? Ереван? Ереван? Нет, Аштарак. Аштарак. Это время, это... Как можно сделать так? Это просто армянец сделать так. Молодец, спасибо. До свидания. Well, set up here, guys. You will really realize why this was called the fortress in the clouds. You really feel like you're high up. The sun is about to set, so what a treat. Now, this place was actually erected in the 10th century by the Armenian ruler, an Armenian king called Ashot II. He was son of Simbat I. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Now, at the time, this place was rife with conflict and his father, Simbat, was actually captured and tortured to death. Ashot then took power back. And I say took power back because there was a lot of controversy at the controversy at the time as to who was the real, you know, real ruler. He formed an army, gained back the territory, and today, He's known as Ashot Yerkat, which translates to Ashot of Steel. And he's a very important king for Armenia because he became the ruler of Armenia. Guys, I'm, I'm getting a bit of a, an understanding here from uh, Suren that this stone, most of the churches you said are built with tuf, right? Yeah. But this is a different type of stone that they've used. What's the name of this stone? Basalt. Basalt, which is also a volcanic stone. But apparently, the reason why they really build with this stone is because it's so hard, right? It's so impressive. But then again, if the king's name is Ashot of Steel, 
then he's not going to have a regular church, is he? He's going to have a steel church. This is this is the actual stone, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, can you feel how it's... It's very heavy. heavy. To <laughs> now, that's a small piece, guys. And that must weigh about... I kid you not, maybe 40 kilos. So you can see the size of these stones. I mean, it goes from here. One of these stones here would be approximately one, two, three, four, maybe 300 kilos each stone, judging by the weight of that. That is madness. The technologies they used in those days is mind boggling. How did they get the stones up there? If you take a look at the, the entrance here, this one here, look at these pillars as well. These are all carved out of one stone. There's no seam from here all the way to there. It's one solid piece. That's crazy. But this cross is uh, uh, people who give uh, money to church, church uh, for his... Uh, in their honor, yeah. they, they put a cross in the stone. Uh, for his fam family. That's so nice. This is Tuf, the famous stone that you see all over Yerevan. Yeah, I mean, I can see why most structures would be built with tuff because it's so much lighter, but so pretty. I mean, look at the red. And this is not spray painted, guys. This is naturally that color. And when you think this stuff here, guys, 1,100 years old, guys. That is simply crazy. Let's go and take a look inside. So another interesting thing that my friend Suren said is that when they place the cross at the top of the church, it faces or it points east to west. Now, is that every church in every church, uh, Armenian church? In Armenian church, every Armenian church around the world, the cross points is, points east to west. Yeah. Is there any reason for that? Is there any tradition or explanation to this tradition? I think sometimes we Christ is sun, and we with face look how Christ. Uh, rises rises and up ah oh, that makes sense cool thanks for that information <laughs> really interesting this is magnificent guys now guys right here where the fortress is you can hear the river running below in the distance that would have been their source of water can you imagine the task the immense task of supplying water to that place up there it would have been a nightmare Absolutely incredible. Ambad Fortress, what a fantastic place. It's breathtaking. If you come to Armenia, make it on your things to visit because it's phenomenal. We're gonna head back to Yerevan, but on the way, this guy's full of surprises, so we got another surprise. Let's go. Again, thank you so much, I, I, I my friend. I forget your name. Justin. Justin. Yes. Yes. Fantastic place you have here. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> Bye bye. What a fantastic place, fantastic people. My friend here was kind of surprised that they took money for letting us drone on the place. Listen, I can understand, they don't earn much. So they try and get creative. You know, there's two sides to every story. Bloggers help discover the place, help tourism. It's uh, something rule from government. Oh, it's a government yeah, rule. It's only ah, well, government. Us bloggers should should be able to drone for free. <laughs> but if you remember on the way up, guys, we were welcomed by these fine people that shared their fruits and cookies with us. Well, just so happens that they called us and said, on the way back, stop for a barbecue. Brasi. And you know how much I love my barbecue? You showed us that. So, and I can smell it in the air. Hello, my friend, how are you? English? Good, good. So guys, take a look at this. Wow. Now, this is no Weber. This is the real McCoy. This is fish, salmon or trout, placed over a bed of coals. That's made from wood. You can actually see that they burnt the wood. And it's this makeshift barbecue that just looks 
so fabulous. Сами придумали это? Да, это, это временно. Временно, да? Yeah. Ну, супер. Hello, здравствуйте. здравствуйте. Как у вас дела? Хорошо, очень спасибо. приятно. Спасибо большое. Да. Прекрасно видно. Да. И манго мне очень понравилось. Тоже. <laughs> это уникальный. Well, guys, I can't wait to try this. It looks and smells so amazing. Let's see what it's all about. Take a look at this feast that is coming up. It's just... Здравствуйте еще раз. Здравствуйте, здравствуйте. Как у вас дела? Um, look what they've done, guys. It looks amazing. Honestly, this is what you can expect in Armenia when you suddenly get invited spontaneously into someone's house. And look what they do. I am at a loss for words. Спасибо большое. Все прекрасно выглядит. Просто спасибо большое. Doesn't this look great? Listen, I'm not going to put the camera in the people's faces while we're eating. It's not nice. I don't want to do that. But just to give you an idea of what's happening here, I already know it's delicious because that's just the way it is here. But I'll finish this and then get back to you. But this is unbelievable. So guys, they've said it's okay to uh, to film. I'm sat here with uh, my new friend Anait, lovely Hi. lady. Hi. And uh, your name was Vardan. Vardan. See, the problem is I don't know the Armenian names yet. And this is his father, Artur, Artur and his lovely mother, Danne. This is huh? Kayane. Kayane. I'm sorry, you see that? I've never heard these names ever. It's so nice. And you were Eric. 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 And we were well, the whole day you've been seeing him here. But look at look at the spread. Look at the spread. I want to show you something. This amazing fish, it's trout on the barbecue. And it's phenomenal with this amazing bread. And I just wanted to share this with you because, you know, for me, sharing a meal with people is like a bonding experience. It's like the ultimate level of respect when you're invited into someone's house for, for food. So I'm going to tuck into this. But I'm telling you, this experience is absolutely amazing.